Welcome to my channel. My name is Maggie. On my channel, I talk about narcissists, their traits, how you can identify them, and the effect of the abuse on their victims. On today's topic, I'm going to talk about do all narcissists gaslight? Do they believe that whatever they say is a lie? Okay, before you, we understand all that, let's see the definition of gaslighting. Gaslighting is defined as a conscious manipulation in which someone convinces the other person that their perceptions of reality is not to be trusted. The term may also be used to describe a gaslighter as someone who presents false narrative to others leading them to doubt their perceptions. Gaslighter uses this to benefit themselves. So narcissists like using gaslighting to drive the agenda. Gaslighting is not necessarily malicious or intentional, although it can sometimes be. So the question is, do all narcissists gaslight? Actually, most people with NPD have a very shaky relationship with the truth. So them and the truth don't mix. It is like oil and water. So they will twist the truth to avoid being seen as liars. And on many occasions, they will not take responsibility for their mistakes. That is how gaslighters are. And that is how narcissists are because we know narcissists don't take any responsibility on their mistakes so when they want to avoid admitting their mistakes they may consciously try to change their story to change their nar narrative so while changing this they do things like manipulating blaming raging or they can even display vengeful attitude all this is to convince their listener, the person who is listening, their victim, that whatever happened did not happen. So what may have started as a small misunderstanding may even lead to narcissistic anger. They can even throw some tantrum and that can even turn into gaslighting. So narcissistic gaslighting is just a conscious effort by a narcissist to deny or twist the truth and manipulate their victim so that they can drive their selfish agendas. To paraphrase actually what one person, one comedian by the name Lenny Bruce, what he said to the men who were caught cheating, this is what he told them that even if the two of you were back naked and caught in the act, deny it, just deny it, always deny it. Tell them whatever they saw is not what they think. So that is what he told those people who are caught cheating. And since narcissists are hypersensitive to any criticism, narcissists find criticism as disrespectful. So when that one happened, they will blow up. They will even tell you all sorts of mean things to scare you so that you don't continue with whatever you are saying. They would rather not accept or admit that they are lying. And most cases it's even very difficult to have a conversation or maybe a decent conversation with the narcissist because as you try to fix an argument, your opinion will not matter. And whatever it is, it is always your fault. Whatever happens, it is always your fault. And the narcissist is always right. So there's no compromise. There's no middle line between the narcissist and you. It's either black or white, yes or no, lie or truth. They want you to believe their lies as true and justified. The best thing to do is just to walk out of that scenario whenever the argument comes up. Because trying to even reason 
with the narcissist will make you even question what you know. So if even if you call them out, you're wasting your time because they will flip everything and they will turn everything around on you. Sometimes you can even be just gentle or calmly bring up something to their attention. And if you do that, they will immediately become aggressive and defensive. They believe that for them to survive, for the narcissist to survive, they must be defensive. That is their belief. It can get to a point where now, because you're tired of argument, you'll just keep everything to yourself to avoid problems. And that's precisely what the narcissists want. So their refusal to have a normal conversation with you, they know it will exhaust you and they know it's a way of scaring you. So you will not want to continue with that conversation. So the best thing is just to back off before everything turns into a fight. It is important to protect yourself. So try to recognize those warnings from afar and always trust your guts. Listen to what your guts is telling you about what may feel tr true or what may feel right or what may feel uh, wrong or what may feel lies or false. So thank you so much for listening. And if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new on my channel, please subscribe, share, leave your comment on the section below and click that notification bell so that when I upload a new video, you'll be notified. To my already subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. And let's meet on the next video.